Okay, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And uh, here is a, uh, a video to end the season or end the year off properly. We're mid-December 2008, heading into 2009. Very exciting. I am uh, on my way to a nice uh, holiday. It's been a, a very busy year and I'm looking forward to spending some time uh, a little bit playing golf and a little bit on the slopes. So what we're going to do is we're going to end with a, a wonderful little review to help you fine tune what you've been working on as far as the tilted spiral, if you've been having trouble with that, or if you've been having trouble with the swing sequence, you feel that uh, the hip turn hasn't been working adequately there, you'll see in my, um, on my uh, YouTube analogies page, I have a hip movement uh, uh, title at the very top, and you'll see three videos on that, one with the belly dancing, one with Bobby Jones, and one with myself, and we're talking about the ball bearings and sockets, right? Now, for, uh, for those of you, now one of the things that I have noticed a lot in, in, my, uh, in my teachings is the reason why you tend to uh, default to your old habits is, as far as the ball is concerned, number one, stop trying to hit the golf ball, okay? So when you get to a shot and you hit a shot, and it didn't come out the way you wanted to, the first question I want you to ask yourself is, were you using heavy momentum through the ball and towards a target, or did it feel like you were using your arms and your body was getting in the way? So you will feel a very big difference between the two, okay? So that's first awareness is, are you using arms to try and hit the ball, or are you using momentum to create an effortless, powerful, heavy whip through to the target, all right? So if I'm using heavy momentum, I want to feel like I'm using it from the beginning. The only way to use it from the beginning is to feel that your posture is super solid. You, you feel that... The, the arms are really hanging from the shoulders and you feel their weight with the club. So, like the crane and wrecking ball analogy, right? So now if I'm using that, I wanna feel like I'm already in my perpetual motion drill. And if I'm in my perpetual motion drill, then gravity is truly tracking the arms and the club for me. And my body is getting out of the way back and through of that, you know, of that momentum. So, if you have that feel at address, then you want to feel, okay, here, I feel the weight, here we go. And that was struck with heavy, massive momentum. Felt amazing, all right? So, number one. Number two, you want to be braced against your forward side well before your arms come down. To get the feel of that, go to the one leg drill. Match that up with the perpetual motion drill. Swing it back and through without stopping. Feel a heavy momentum. Ooh, that feels good. Go to the ball. What was that again? Oh yeah, feel that heavy momentum. I feel the weight of the arms. Here we go. Wow, that felt good. So, it felt like I had a very steady braced axis for that heavy momentum to swing around. If you look at that, um, you know, the hammer throw in the Olympics, that's very much what, they're, what you're looking to get. So now, this is why the Tilted Spiral series is working well for many of you, right? So we go from feet, one leg to back to two legs. So you go to one leg, part two, high and low shots. And then from there, you go to Tilted Spiral, part one, two, and three. So we're bracing against the left side, from the right, brace solidly against the left, heavy momentum. Again, nice and solid. Felt like I was using heavy momentum through the ball towards a target. Now for many of you, you'll have issues with this because you're either too much on top of the left side and your right leg is floating, that's no good, because you're not against the left. And when you try to get more into the right side, you tend to come off the left. You're not at that stage yet, and that's okay. So what you need to practice 
is the feet together drill, number one. So feet together, toss, fall, feel that heavy momentum. The knees stay together. The, the feet stay plugged on the ground. You really feel that suction. You don't want to feel that your feet are rolling out from underneath you. And you don't want to feel like your knees are prying away from each other. Fall, 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 fall. Maintaining suction the whole time through. Good. So, go to the ball. Feel that heavy momentum. Through the shot. Everything's still solid through the arches. We're good. Then you go from there to the sequence power drills. And then you step it in there. So you'll notice that when you turn, so if I use heavy momentum right from the get-go, toss, you'll notice how I have to plant on that forward foot way before my arms come down. If I don't do that, it's not going to be too good, okay? So it has to be the plant first. So as I toss it back, as I keep turning, I have to go toward the target, butt first and back first. You notice the position I'm in now? Now I'm against the left side. Now my arms can come down. So you will have amazing results with this position. You'll be able to take this from the wedge to the driver.